Well, the battle for clear skin is no longer something that only teenagers face. More and more adults are fighting acne as part of their morning routine. But what you're doing may be doing more harm than good. Yeah, how about that? Health reporter Haley Hernandez is here to tell us the best ways to beat it. Yeah, we got to beat it because this is the worst, right? Mm. So the American Academy of Dermatology says it's becoming more common to see women in their 30s, 40s, even 50s mm. struggling with acne. So why is that and how do we stop it? I went to Advanced Dermatology to get answers. It's a problem we face with our face. Usually around the chin area. Adult acne. Frustrated and embarrassed. Almost coming out of nowhere and always showing up at the same time of month. I've never had problems before. After the pregnancy, it was it was bad. Jennifer says it's been so bad at times she's missed out on social events. You know, I'm not proud to say that. It sounds silly, but you know, you don't necessarily want to go out. Dr. Sherry Ingraham says females can get more sensitive to hormone changes as we get older. So even if you've never had it before, adult female acne can hit hard and needs to be treated differently than teenage breakouts. We use lighter products. We may use retinoids that have an anti-aging benefit. Dr. Ingraham prescribes Jennifer antibiotics to start a few days before her cycle, along with all of these spot treatments and makeup for acne prone skin. I also like this mask because you can spot treat the pimples, leave the rest of your skin untouched and not be as drying. And moisture is critical. We lose a lot of the important components of the lipid barrier that maintain the healthy pH of our skin. So you want to use a moisturizer and you want to use non-comedogenic moisturizers. With this, Jennifer should never have to avoid facing another crowd. Any treatments I can have that limit that or prevent it you know, I'm all for. And one of the neatest new products. So guess what? Micellar water is back. You I'll guys remember this that one, one too. Oh, I stole geez. your last one. Yeah, Dr. Ingraham recommends micellar water to remove makeup because she says micelles can remove dirt and bacteria without stripping the skin yeah. of moisture. So also another thing, if you've ever been wondering about these masks, I've seen them in commercials and yeah. everything. Dr. Ingraham gives these a thumbs up. She says that dermatologists do use the red light as an anti-inflammatory and blue light to clean bacteria, which is what this mask apparently does with these little lights right here. Wow. So she recommends this for 10 minutes every day, and she says that that really does something.